All right, so as you all know, I found a new AI platform that completely changes the game. It's got every major AI video model you can think of. We all know how VO3 has taken the internet by storm, especially with the text to video feature with audio. Have you heard about the prompt theory, Seg? Well, this tool has it. And not only that, but it has the best ranked AI video gen model, Seedence. It also supports the best AI image generators like Flux Context and even GPT-40. They also just added in a new feature that allows you to generate full length short films with AI with just one prompt. So be sure to watch till the end because I'm going to walk you through how it works and why this might just be the best AI platform out right now. If you wanna learn how to make money with AI and AI influencers, subscribe to my other channel. Also, I have created a document on how to make money with AI. All you need to do to get it is simply like the video, subscribe and comment. I want the full document and my bot will be sure to send it to you. Okay. So now what I can promise you is that after this video, you'll not watch any other VO3 tutorial, because today we are going to cover initially every single thing you need to know about VO3. So I'd advise you to watch till the end. So to access VO3, this is the site that I'm going to use. It's called OpenArt, and the link will be in the description. Now I know you're probably asking, why am I using OpenArt and not the normal Google Flow? Now you see, with the normal Google Flow, there are a lot of limitations. First of all, if you go on Google Flow, you cannot generate images. Now on OpenArt, you have access to VO3, but not only VO3, you also have access to literally every other single AI video model. So you can literally test and compare. Then you also have access to chat to edit, which essentially works like chat GPT. In fact, it uses both chat GPT and flux context enough for it to edit your video. So why pay for different AI tools when you can literally get all of them, literally on this website? So I'm personally going to use OpenArts. And now for us to generate our videos. Now, on OpenArt, you can also generate longer videos, because if you're going on Flow, you realize that the maximum amount of length for video that you can generate is literally eight seconds. But on OpenArt, you can generate videos that are longer. So if I go here, you can see this video here is 25 seconds. This other one is also 25, and that is even 32 seconds. So on open art, you have way more flexibility. This tutorial literally applies everywhere. I personally prefer open arts and let's get started. So for that, just simply head over here to videos. So once you've got here, you see that I personally have 102,000 credits because open art is what I use for my day-to-day -day AI activities. It's literally the only site I open up every single day to use for my AI influencers. Now, if you go over here under image or let's first of all, test the text to video you realize that not only do they have VO3, but they have the number one AI video gen, which is Seed Dance. Well, this tutorial is a VO3 tutorial, so you can select it. Now we can type in our first prompt. Now I'm gonna show you the prompting techniques. So our first prompt will be something like this. Now we can just type something like a dog running in the forest or in a grass field. So something like this. Then open art actually, they also have an other enhanced feature on how to make your prompts that much better so you don't end up with wasting credits, which Flow doesn't have. So you can choose whether you want the fast or the normal. You can just stick to normal for now. You can also test out fast, because fast is also good, and you can click on create. So now I do have turbo turned on, meaning the generation isn't going to take as long as it normally would. So here it is done, and it is generated with audio. It used a song, which is very nice. But now let's go a little bit more in depth on how to prompt. So if let's say you want a girl to talk or a woman, you can just say something like this. So then we can say the camera zooms in. And then if you wanna get her to talk, just put something like this. Then I'll simply click on create. So now it is done and trust me, you'll love the results. I'll simply increase it and this is it. <laughs> Subscribe to Brain Project. <laughs> And as you saw, even the subtitles are on point. But however, if you don't want any subtitles, all you simply need to do is add no subtitle and it should erase. It won't generate it with any subtitle. So now we can actually also generate gameplay style videos. So I need simply to go here. I'll just paste any prompt of it, a gameplay, then generate. Okay, so now it's done. Now, just to be clear, I did add overhead shots. So these are essentially cinematic shots used in professional filming or in Hollywood generally, which can also be used here in VO3. So let's just play. I've got him! I've got him! 
As you can see, it did a very, very decent job, especially with the audio. Okay, so I want to take a moment to showcase this platform that is called Skillshare. Now this platform is basically a platform where you can learn a skill from scratch, build creative habits, and level up your career. So basically over here they have creative classes taught by the best creative professionals. And by the best, I mean world-class professionals teach here. And if you scroll down, you can see there's a lot of class categories. They have thousands of creative classes from beginners to pros. So they make room for different skill levels, and then they're taught by creative professionals and industry icons. Now you'll see what we mean by that in a second. And over here, you can see that they have a carefully curated learning path to help you achieve your goals and certificates to celebrate your accomplishments, which is really cool there. As you can see over here, they have 25,000 classes, over 600K members, and over 8K teachers who are professionals, as I will show you. Then they have a 4.8 star rating on the App Store. Then, as we can see over here, you can explore inspiring online classes. Just take a look at all of this. You can. You can learn different things from music, drawing and painting, marketing, social media, and a whole lot more. As you can see, this is what I mean when I say, they have world-class creatives here. As you can see, Marquez Brownlee is here, and a whole lot more industry icons in their respective fields are here. And they can teach you a lot about the field because you already have the proof of their success. So then these are basically the positive reviews from Skillshare students. So this is the browse page. And if you go to the browser feature, you can see that they have a lot of classes by category and can be specifically filtered to your liking. And one thing I love about this platform is that it is very well designed. The user experience is very clean, so you don't really have any trouble navigating. As we can see here, because this is Brain Project, classes on AI and innovation would be really helpful to us. And they have a lot of classes for that. This is the class that helps you with SEO marketing and general productivity, which is really nice. Then over here, they teach you about mid-journey. So you would basically learn skills from professionals on how to use AI tools and AI in general to be more productive, which is just amazing. Now this specific class is just really nice and it teaches you how to go about your AI video creation, which is really nice. So what I'll do is I will pair this up with the class on AI powered marketing. So I'll gain more knowledge on how to make money with AI. So yeah, this is a really great tool. So be sure to check out the link in the description and the first 500 people to use my link in the description or scan the QR code will be given a one month free trial of Skillshare. So be sure to check it out because it would really help you out. So now we can try the famous AI video of Will Smith eating spaghetti. But I do not want to generate Will Smith specifically, so I just use this prompt. It's spaghetti, but this time around chopsticks. Let's see how it does. So it is done. Let's take a look at what it did. And as you can see, I think this video really shows how far AI has gone over the past few years. We all know how horrible the original Will Smith eating spaghetti was, but now look at how this turned out, and it now came with audio. So now this is another reason why I personally like open art, because as you can see, if I see there's a particular style that I do want to replicate, I can just maybe search it up, then go ahead and save the image. Then simply head over here and use it in the image to prompt section. So like this, I could just go ahead and drag it down. Then it starts generating the prompt. So here it's done, and before we actually use it, you can just edit it and type in what you want. Then simply click on Use the Prompt. It automatically has been added, and you can generate. So this is the result. Subscribe if you like Brain Project. And as you could tell, it did a good job. Then you could also tell it to replicate famous design styles, something like this. Then you can go ahead and add the style. So you can see Ghibli style and generate. Okay, so now VO3 is done. And to be honest, it really didn't do a great job with this. It looks a bit awkward. I guess maybe this would be better for image to video, but for style referencing, we can try again. So for referencing here, I've got this prompt and can try generating. So it is done and we got this style of video. Now for some weird reason, it didn't generate audio. But then again, I do feel that you could easily regenerate it and actually get it to talk. Then again, 
you could try the ASMR style video. They have been trending a lot. So first of all, we try of a woman speaking into a microphone. Just simply try that. So it is done. And this is the result. I hope that you are feeling relaxed. feeling relaxed. And as you saw, it did a wonderful job. So another style of video that you can try is the street interview. So I'll just paste in a prompt like this. If you want all the prompts used in this video, just comment. I want the full document and I'll send it over to you and we can just generate. So now it is done. Now obviously, we didn't really go that deep into the prompting system and I wanted to see how it would talk about these effects of AI and it actually did a decent job though there was a little error, which you'll see. The effects of AI in our society. Well, it's creating some really interesting opportunities for us. Uh so what are some of the effects of AI? So as you saw, it did a good job, especially talking about the opportunities aspect, but it was the interviewee that asked the question when it was supposed to be the interviewer. But all in all, it did a good job. And another style of video that I could try is this, a news segment talking about the effects of AI. And we can just do something like this and generate, so it's done. Let's take a look at the results. Artificial intelligence has the potential to transform society and the global economy. Artificial intelligence has the potential to transform society and the global economy. So it did a wonderful job, though there was a slight morph at the end, so yeah. Now, this is why I like open art in general, because as you can see, we can generate videos using all the top models and outputs the highest quality of videos. Actually, there's image to video where you can also even use VO3. And there's also elements where you can just use Kling 1.6 for now. And you can even do automatic lip sync for your videos, but actually it gets better. Remember, you can generate one click stories using open arts, as I've mentioned before. I do have a video on it, and you can even use the chat to edit feature, and you can go ahead and even create consistent characters with this. So yeah, the link will be in the description. Do let me know if you want more tutorials like this. And yeah, check out the link in the description.